Dun, 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 dun. The meter. Experimentation is the foundation of science. Measurement is the objective approach to experimentation. To measure, we need to know what quantity was measured, how was the quantity measured, both the technique used and how accurate the measure was, and what was the unit used for measuring that quantity. When the what we want to use to measure is length or distance, we often use a ruler like this, or a tape measure, uh, or a measuring wheel perhaps, or an odometer in a car. But there are other instruments you can use also. So what is the difference though between length and distance? Well with distance down here you're concerned with starting at some point, say point A, and finishing at another point, point B. And uh, the distance is simply how far it is between point A and point B. And we don't care about anything in between. We just want to know how far the overall uh, distance is, and that's given the symbol D for distance. Length, however, we want stuff. If we're using length, there is stuff in between, like this pencil. So the length of this pencil is from one end of the pencil to the other. So if there's stuff in between, it's length, and usually given the symbol L. If we're talking about distance, uh, a vertical distance, sometimes we'll use the letter Y to represent a vertical distance, and the letter X for a horizontal distance. Length and distance are measured sim similarly, therefore the quantity or unit they are measured in is the same. You may already be familiar with some units for length and distance such as the inch, foot, yard, or mile. These are called imperial units, but in science we don't use imperial units. We use SI units like the rest of the world. SI units are international system of units. Uh, were agreed upon by the International Bureau of Weights and Measures. In science, throughout the world, we do speak one language, and it's called SI. The length or distance, for length or distance, the agreed upon unit is the meter. And the meter is given the symbol M. The meter is human-sized. It's uh, about up to my waistline, or my belt line from the floor, and I can touch one side of the meter stick to my nose and pointing away the opposite direction, get to the other end of the meter. I can also uh, have my hands out like I was making a touchdown sign, about that far is a meter, and it's about how far I can put my feet apart. So a meter is human sized. It is, uh, for the units we're used to, it is 3.28 feet uh, and a little over 39 inches. But in science, we don't use inches and we don't use feet, we use meters. The origin of the meter. Originally, the meter was conceived as being one ten millionth the distance from the equator to the North Pole. But that was kind of hard to visualize. So they actually created these rods uh, made out of platinum and iridium. And in 1875, they stored these rods, and uh, those were the replicas of how long a meter was. Now, uh, we are much more precise, and so uh, the length that light travels in a vacuum in this super short amount of time is how we define a meter ever since 1983. If all I had was a meter stick that had no marks, like this edge doesn't have any marks on it, and all I knew was from here to here was a meter, and I tried to measure this tabletop, then I could only be so accurate. All I would know is that the, the table was about that much of a meter, about 80% of a meter, or around 0.8 meters. If there were no marks on this stick, as you can see, we couldn't measure very precisely. 
That's why a meter is divided into a hundred equal parts about the width of your pinky finger. The length of these divisions is called a centimeter and is given the symbol CM, like this. A centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter. Centi means one out of a hundred. So in decimal form, a centimeter is 0 0.01 or two decimal places. And also, one meter contains 100 centimeters. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. Now that we've divided the meter stick into centimeters, uh, in fact, 100 centimeters in a meter, uh, we can measure the table more accurately. And we can see that it, it isn't 80 or 0.8 meters. It's really closer to a little less than 77 centimeters, or a little less than 0.77 meters. Could my measurement of the desk be more precise? Sure! To be more precise, the centimeter is divided into 10 equal parts, or in other words, the meter stick is divided into a thousand parts. These tiny, tiny divisions are called millimeters! The millimeter is represented by the letters MM, like Mighty Mouse. A millimeter is one one thousandth of a meter. Milli means one out of a thousand. So in decimal form, a millimeter is 0 .001, or three decimal places, 0 .001 meters. Therefore, in a meter, there are 1,000 millimeters. Wow, they're tiny, about the size of my, about the thickness of my thumbnail. Now that we can break a centimeter into 10 millimeters, we can get even more accurate here and see that the table is somewhere around 76.8 uh, centimeters. The 0.8 is uh, determined because we can uh, get 10 millimeters between 76 and 77. So 76.8 Centimeters is the uh, most accurate that we can get with this measuring instrument. So now it's your turn. Let's see how precisely you can measure. So you're going to take out your packets and you're going to measure the width, that's the distance across your packet here, and the length of your packet. So, and you're going to represent all of your measures with our three units we've learned meter, centimeter, and millimeter. So when you use your ruler, Obviously, your ruler's not a meter long, but you, you can measure it in millimeter, I mean, sorry, centimeters, and then uh, moving the decimal, it could be a certain number of meters in, in a decimal form. Same with the length. And then you can measure directly in centimeters to the nearest millimeter, and then uh, all in millimeters. So pause the video here, go and measure your packets, and when you're done measuring your packets, come back to the video and let's see how you did. How did you do? Were you close? Hopefully these are the numbers that you were close to. Notice that around 0.21 meters is the same thing as 21.59 centimeters, except this is a little more accurate. And these are about these are the same accuracy, just represented differently, either in centimeters or millimeters. And these were the numbers you should have got for your length. Can we measure lengths and distances less than a millimeter? Sure. The next division of a meter jumps all the way down to the mic micrometer. And this is the Greek letter mu. And uh, the micrometer, a micrometer is so small that uh, we can't see it. In fact, we need a microscope to measure micrometers. It's actually one millionth of a meter. However, almost all of our work in class will be measures greater than a millimeter. So uh, we can just move on. But before we do, let's check out something under a microscope. This is the front end of a dust mite seen through an electron microscope. It's about an 80th of an inch long, impossible to see with the naked eye. Kind of gross. Now we've seen how things human size and smaller down to one millimeter can be measured with meter sticks and rulers, and mites can be seen with microscopes.
But what about large objects and distances? Let's start, let's start back at the meter and expand outward now. For all large lengths and distances, except vast distances, there is only one jump up from the meter. By grouping 1,000 meters together, we form a kilometer. So 1,000 meters is a kilometer. So what about those vast distances? When we look up into the night sky on a clear night, we may see many stars. Stars are so very far away, we don't use kilometers to describe their distances. Instead, we use the time it takes for light to travel from them to represent their distance. This unit is called a light year. A light year is the distance that light travels in a year. So, let's see how you did. Test yourself. You should know the following things. What is a unit? What does a meter measure? How large is a meter, kilometer, centimeter, and millimeter? What do these abbreviations, M, KM, CM, and MM, represent? And what unit is used to measure vast distances? Good luck as you strive for continuous improvement.